Sporting is in progress. Hello, everybody. Daryl Snyder, Fantasy Sports Logic. This is our daily deeper dive podcast in conjunction with our one of our partners, Ballpark Pal. You can visit ballparkpal.com and see a lot more really cool information. Aaron, the founder over there, simulates every given MLB slate up to 3,000 times. And what we do, a couple of things with Bob Bell. Every morning, he provides us with four very interesting charts, of which I'm going to take a deeper dive into. That's the name, our daily deeper dive. Podcast, this is posted on our YouTube channel directly following the rendering, which takes about 15 minutes. I post it to Twitter as well and LinkedIn. And then I'll cover a little bit about the uh, Contrarian Edge Optimizer. I have a little four-game slate early. I'll try to, it's in about an hour from now, try to get this out before that. And then there is a later slate with, not left for sure. We will find out, though, here in just a moment. A lot of exciting things happening. If you haven't visited the homepage and taken a test drive of the optimizer, seven days, currently only $1. Eight player projection fee, seven, including Ballpark Pal and some of the top player projection. I won't say some of, they are the top player projection providers in the world. And then our proprietary secret sauce blend. I'll show you that in. A few minutes today, Wednesday, August 2nd. The first chart I'm going to cover is the daily home run report. You'll see that Matt Olson, Atlanta Brave, part of that powerful Braves lineup, has a 26%, just a little over 26% probability of hitting a home run today. He's got a nice matchup against the recently acquired Giolito. For the uh, formerly a White Sox, now an Angel, a little 14% boost there. The ballpark is kind of neutral, negative 1%. Aaron Judge, no surprise, followed by Otani. A couple of guys that have frequency, obviously, of hitting home runs, right? Judge is back off the DL. Otani on a crazy pace, both 26% to hit home runs today. Otani. Almost 26%. Mickey Manaya. He's been appearing there a lot lately. Both he and Otani have a nice matchup with, I'm not sure if you say that, Chirinos, uh, Yanni. I think he was at Tampa Bay, now Brave. Both match up nicely. 20, 23% boost. The park kind of neutral. And then the Padres, again, in Colorado, always. Favorable Manny Machado, 20% probability, 28% matchup with the pitcher. Kyle Freeland, he's a lefty. Machado, he hits both lefties and righties well, but favorable more towards a lefty. The park today with a 16% boost, no surprise. A couple more, actually three more Padres in solid matchup. So they will be popular. That's in the afternoon slate of the main slate, uh, four o'clock normally. Pacific, it may be three because it's moving day or getaway day, but you can see there's definitely some trends towards Padre stack. I get into stack attack mode on the optimizer. You've got a red against Smiley McLean. You've got an Oriole. The Orioles really saw the lineup as the reds. A's, you see the boost. Tris Trisom. <laughs> Trent Grissom, still, or still a little early here. Southern California, 66% uh, boost, McLean 72%. Look at the ballpark matchup. Wrigley must have some wind blowing out today. It's been uh, kind of back and forth, but we'll look at that in the daily stadium reports here in a few more charts. So a lot of great information. Do with it what you may. I leverage it along with the optimizer to look at Today, I'm just playing a handful, half a dozen early lineups, probably stack. I mean, there's only four games, right? So you're going to stack something. But I'll get into that in a moment. Here's the uh, DFS matchups. He does a really nice job. 
three from every position except outfield and pitcher. He gives you eight of the top. Olsen at the top again. Kim solid with the Padres. Cronenworth, there's another, another Padre to put into the mix. If you're going to go stack attack five in the afternoon, that probably will be very popular. There's another Oriole, O'Hearn. You got Mookie for the Dodgers in the mix at second base, along with Albies, one of those powerful Brave, Machado, Ellie, De La Cruz for the Reds, and then McMahon had a solid day for the Rockies yesterday. The Padres ended up winning. It started out slow scoring, ended up with 13 runs, went over the total, I think 12, 12 and a half. I think it was busting on whether it was the monsoon type of rains, if it was going to even be played, but it was. Bobby Witt, solid Royal at shortstop. There's McLean again, another of spotted six Padres in these charts today. So mix and match as you feel. There's the seventh. <laughs> That's a tease. <laughs> like the whole lineup, right? Um, definitely not a bad thing. They started to play a lot better. Chasing down the Dodgers and the Giants. Giants had a great one yesterday against Arizona, evening that series up. So, Otani has a DH. Uh, speaking of the Diamondbacks, Garrell Jr., second projected matchup at des designated hitter, and then Bryce Harper. Hasn't had the power this year. Still a solid threat to uh, score you some fantasy points. The blue are the projected FanDuel, and the green is draft innings. Pitchers, Today, Joe Ryan, always solid with Minnesota. Singa, Singa with that slider, but um, tough to hit for the Mets. Rodriguez, he vetoed a trade to the Dodgers yesterday. Yay! <laughs> I'm a giant fan. Um, kind of clashes with my pink that I have on today, but there you go. Named after a giant, we won't get into that on this video. We will at another time try to get through this so we can get it to our faithful fans and viewers before the early lock and again about an hour. Uh, Garrett, pitcher for the Mariners, is the fourth. And then you see Musgrove, one of Brandon. Brandon should be back from assignment tomorrow to join me. I've been selling it for the last several days while he's enjoying family time in the Sierras. Garrett Cole, always a solid pick. Uh, Gonzalez a Dodger, rounds out the list. And then in the outfield, not surprising, Tatis Jr., Soto, Acuna. He's almost always there. Judge, I've been having a nice year. Former Giant leading off for the Cubs. They are hot. They scored 20 runs. That was... Uh, the optimal yesterday. If you had a Cubs stack of five, which is max, and then you had Framber with his no hitter, and then the other optimal pitcher will come to me, but a lot of points, 200 uh, on the top of, I think the $3 was uh, probably most solid, the max 150s. Cup stack, you had to have Framber with his no hitter. Didn't have a lot of strikeouts. I think he had seven, but no hit. You get the bonus, shut out, you get the bonus, pitch nine innings, had a lot of things. I think, I think uh, high 30s, maybe low 40s. Um, here's the starting pitcher preview. There, here's the first four games. Um, is that Braves? I mean, is that Rocky game in the top four? Let me see here. Let me see. Looks like it's showing it is. No. Um, it's just listing them that way. It's uh, Angels, Braves, Tigers, Pirates, Brewers, Nats, Guardians, Astros. Astros picked up Verlander. They're really positioning themselves nicely. That was, wasn't a lot of activity. Giants did nothing except picked up A.J. Pollock who played yesterday. Kind of a guy that fits their 
matchups against lefties, he's a righty. Uh, Verlander was traded. Dodgers, as I said, they tried to get Rodriguez. He vetoed. I think they ended up then going after, um, and they got Flaherty, I think, from the Cardinals. So not a lot of big moves, but there were some pitchers. Uh, the way a position player, Tommy Pham left the Mets. So you had Verlander leaving the Mets. You had Scherzer leaving the Mets. Pham leaving the Mets. Uh, Kana, he went to the Brewers. And Pham went to Diamondbacks. So it might appear against Jack Peterson. They had a little scuffle over a fantasy football team. I don't know if you remember that. I think it was in spring training. <laughs> wonder how that'll be today. See if they've made up in that game tonight. <clears throat> an oracle, but you can see what this is as it grades overall out here to the left, last thousand pitches that each pitcher likes to throw. Uh, you can see Chino's probably a good idea to maybe put a little lineups against Chino's brave. You can see his, uh, his sinker slider FF, not too good. And then his uh, is what is the FS? FS is it is a splitter, um, only a C plus. So Angels could give him some problems on the other side. Giolito, 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 um, almost six strikeouts. Rodriguez, that Tiger projected seven. He's definitely the top projection in the. Early slate, uh, what else sticks out? Garrett Wheeler, 6, 6.7 apiece. Ryan, we talked about him, 7.4. Singa, uh, 7. Giants have a bullpen game. Back pitch yesterday. Pitch decent. Three solo home runs. Oh, we got Webby. That's a good thing. I like Webb for the Giants. Projected 5.3 strikeouts, graded well last thousand pitches of his three preferred pitches. He likes to throw the, the sinker 37% of the time, mixes in the changeup, which he grades well, A plus, and a slider. So I like that late. Of course, my heart tends to go to San Francisco. And then in that Dodger A's game, Dodgers won 7-3. Everybody picks on A's. Gondolin, though, he's not looking, you know, like a lock, right? Look at his last thousand pitches as he's graded out. So sneaky play could be the A's against those Dodgers. I don't think you'll have a lot of ownership there. But feel free to use this information as you wish. A lot of people dissect it for daily prop plays as well. Some of it not legal to gamble here in California. It is to play fantasy, but if you're in a state where gambling is legal, these charts along with the optimizer can give you a lot of data. I'll show that. Here's the uh, daily stadium report. This is kind of cool. At the top of the list, not surprisingly, weather has warmed up, even though the winds are blowing in, course field with the altitude. Second only to Mexico City. If you watch the Giants Mexico City game, it's crazy. It was like a lot higher than this, and the pitchers didn't like it. But in Coors Field, a boost of 34% runs, of which I think a lot of them, as what we saw in the charts, will be scored by the Padres. 22% boost home runs, 37% doubles and triples, and 10%. So that game will be highly targeted. If you fade it and somehow miraculously the pitcher misses the Padres bat, you would be different there. Uh, second is National Park. Not a big boost. Everything else pretty neutral, right? Where's Wrigley? Saw Wrigley. It looked like there was some. That wind blowing to left. Um, favor those righties for the Cubs. But 4% down in so the temperatures must not be, I heard in the 70s, but with the winds blowing out to the left, uh, I don't know. That park's still small. I don't know if you've ever been to the friendly confines. I grew up 
not far, 100 miles, went to that park quite a bit. Beautiful park, the ivy in full bloom. It's changed since I was there. Got the big scoreboard and we still have the uh, apartment seat. Anyways, that could be a sneaky play. Couple of nice offenses. I don't know how sneaky, but the park isn't projecting to uh, be where the wind blows everything out. Bottom of the list, Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Cardinals, they still have their hitters. They, they've abandoned some pitching. Flaherty's gone. So that'll be interesting against Minnesota. They're facing Ryan. And Ryan is one of the top projected. So again, feel free. You can go to the blog, fantasysportslogic.com. Like blog, it's free. You get a little pop up asking you to subscribe. You don't even have to subscribe to go visit the blog. Um, and you can access this information daily, or you can follow me on Twitter. I'm up to, we are up to 30 some followers, <laughs> shattering records lately. Not too long ago, I had two. Um, anyways, that'll grow. We haven't put a lot of marketing in, but we're about to. Things are changing. We are ready. Got a nice relationship here with Drafter as a partner. If you take a seven day, Test drive of the Contrarian Edge Optimizer, of which Ballpark Pal is currently one of the seven partner feeds. And then we have our proprietary secret sauce blend for eight. Seven days, one dollar. Does it automatically upgrade you into something? You get a free, while they last, $20 best ball entry into a $2 million contest at Drafters, top prize. 300,000 that for NFL football tomorrow night, the Hall of Fame game. First exhibition game for the season is rapidly approaching, getting a lot of a lot of people asking, yes, we will have football. We've got we'll probably end up with six slide player projection feet. Ballpark pal is baseball only, and then our proprietary blend. So we are going to be loaded for uh some good things. I mean, people I had a question yesterday. Well, why do you think you optimize it? Any different than the others? Um, we have multiple seven figures of investment into the technology. Maybe others match that, but I don't think anybody, I haven't seen, I'd love to hear from anybody, including the competition, if they have what I'm about to show you. Um, one other thing, drafters, if you make a deposit currently using FSL 100, it will match a hundred dollar deposit, give you a hundred dollar credit total of 200 FSL 100 drafters.com. You can use it to buy more best ball, you can use it to play it. They recently added a nice daily prop picks. You get, I think, two teams 3x all the way up to 10 teams 100x. Um, nice, I think it's a little five dollars, maybe even a dollar you can play. So that would be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you appreciated this daily deeper dive. I am going to let me see what I got. Uh, this is coming. I would uh, pay attention to this. Sorry about that noise in the background. Um, Sportstopia. What is Sportstopia? Where winning is everything. It is going to be our version of a place to frequent to get the latest and greatest absolutely free daily fantasy and gambling articles and videos. So I know if you're like me, you play, you need a tool. We have a tool now. You need a place to play. We have places to play. And then you go and you want the latest articles, right? So excited about this, bringing together Emmy, and I mean Emmy award winning, uh, media content providers, lots of experience, lots of fun. It's going to be crazy cool. And there's, uh, there's going to be some benefits for frequenting this site, using the optimizer, playing on a platform. We even have a TV uh, partnership in the works. So I'll get into that more later. Again, I want to blow through this, but Keep your eye on this. You can read what it's going to be all about. We've got partners already listed. There's Ballpark Pal, Narrow Tracker, a cognitive training program that I do. Six minutes I was the test dummy for it. 64 years young. It's allowed me to be crazy 
more uh, capable of processing information. You got buyer sports there. Anyways, keep your eyes open on the happenings there. You see the clock less than two months. That will be live actually sooner than that, but rather, uh, and this is just a splash page. So there will be a full blown multimedia site that's being built as we speak. Okay, zero, get to the optimizer. You got the early slate pulled up. You can do early, you can do afternoon, you can do main, you can do turbo, you can do night, you even have some showdowns. You can do drafting, you can do fan duel. It automatically has contrarian mode on. That was my goal when I started this. Wanted to be different because most people that know me personally, they say that's just a given. They're all just different. But being different can mean that you have a, a way to separate yourselves from the masses. You can, uh, I'm on the early. It shows Rodriguez, the number one projected pitcher. Here are our providers. Paul Parkal, as I had mentioned, Baker, we are the first, one of the first in baseball to utilize the Baker. We'll have them in football. 10,000 simulations of any given game. They are provided to us by Sports Data IO. We have two feeds, their legacy feed, Baker feed, Ballpark Pal feed, FT and Dallas, Frank, and the boys. 40,000. Simulations of any given MLB game, Rotowire, Shannon, Peter, have been around a long time. They provide data to the who's who in the industry. I guess we're the who's who, one up. <laughs> Sport radar. Dan Williams, another grizzled veteran, not to say he's old, but he's definitely experienced. Talked about Sports Data IO, and there we have Charles' staff perform. They have been around since the 80s. Charles has been there since the late 90s. What does that mean besides, you know, me rambling on? And then our proprietary blend it means you can look at daily updated currently every 30 minutes. You see in nine minutes, it'll be updated. It's important this morning because of the early slate. Some of these haven't been filled in by the providers, but they will. Um, let's look at Rodriguez. He's I mean, there's only four games to choose from. So that's eight pitchers, starting pitchers. He's got ownership, obviously, almost all of them. I mean, the top two, Mackenzie Gore for the Nats, 47%, Rodriguez, 58 These are our projected ownership, our proprietary in-house. Uh, you can't find projections other where or other places, other where. Is that a word? Everywhere? Everywhere. Uh, Acuna, not surprisingly. 41%, he's, you know, he can carry you or he can bury you. Meaning if you ride the wave with 41%, he has an Acuna type day, steals a base or two, hits a home run, has a triple, probably be hard to chase that lineup. But if he happens to be off, meaning doesn't perform as well, like baseball players, you know, they go one for three, like 333, like, considered all-star status, but it's baseball, right? So go at your own risk on that. Definitely not a bad play. Contreras looks like he's even more projected at ownership for Milwaukee as a catcher. I mean, out of the out of the eight catchers, he would rank with Murphy. If Murphy's playing for the Braves, where is he? Maybe they're playing somebody else. Um, don't see. Anyways, we will find. But the third is uh, Bybee for the Guardians, and then G Giolito, and then in order, Vito for the Pirates, Blanco for the Astros, Wade Miley, who recently off or just off the DL. Facing the Nats. The Nats are pesky. I'm not sure about that play. But uh, and the Chinos are the Braves. That game, again, would have some runs. Let's see what happens, okay? What I like to do, I mean, it's a four-game slate. Stacking could get you there or could get you away. If one of the teams, the Braves, 
like they sometimes, more than sometimes do, get off. Let's see what happens. You can we set up the stack attack, so you can go. Um, I mean, I'll go all the way to five. Just five braids, three other spots, two pitchers. Let's see how the ready to generate. You can. If you want to use this to stack one of the teams, I had a program for auto. Stack attack mode is off. I'm going to turn it on as soon as it says we are ready. Calculating. Not as many as would be happening in a 14-game slate, right? There's a lot of variables ready to go, but I'm going to say stack attack mode on. That means it's going to Find with diversity across the seven providers and our blend as much coverage. So this is really more for someone playing a max 150 or you know some of the 150 to try to get coverage. Like yesterday, if you'd have played uh, coverage and you would have happened to have Framber and the Cubs stack and with some diversity. Probably put you in pretty good shape, but let's see what the optimizer says. I'm going to hit generate lineups. It just refreshed to see it's back to 28 minutes, and voila! What I like is as you look across the providers, this is our proprietary blend of the seven. You say, well, I only see four. There's a slider on the other side of Rotowire, it's full of radar. IO, staff perform, back to the blend, right? But take a look. It shows the Astros. It looks like as the, uh, yep, that's the blend stack mixed in with Acuna. Never a bad thing, right? Uh, and is it an Astros? It's Cleveland, I'm sorry. I, I will uh, admit that I was wrong. It's Cleveland against the Astros. You got Ramirez, Jimenez, Brennan, Juan at leadoff, and then throwing in of your other three at Contreras is that he was projected to be owned and then could go off with Acuna. So there you go. You got a nice stack. And then uh, Connor Joe, former Giant, Pirate leading off. Kind of get it, right? Not a bad lineup. Rodriguez, you got you got the two top pitchers. I mean, that, to me, I'm not suggesting most of the services, they don't give you like the whole lineup, so give you pick to click, and so we're kind of doing this a little different. You can actually watch the video, not even, you know, just say, wow, those are good. You'll be like um, all the other millions of people watching this video. No, not yet. Someday soon. <laughs> um, You'd be like the people if you're, you know, taking screenshots or whatever. There's Blanco. That would be getting a little different with 5B. Contreras again. You got a Detroit stack with Yellick thrown in there and Otani. Again, not a bad thing. You got four games, right? So if you go stack five and one of the teams gets off and you, you stack, then you're going to be good. If none of the teams get off and all the games are two to one, one to nothing, three to two, three to one, Stacks probably are not going to be as effective. So up to you if you're playing single lineups or max threes. I wouldn't suggest. I would suggest mixing and matching with some of the, you know, more powerful players with a with a cheapie or two with some good pitching. But you can see that obviously the diversity. That was what we set out. Graveman. Now he's a reliever, so that's interesting, right? Maybe Blanco. Struggles early, that would be definitely getting different. It's not impossible. I've seen it happen before. Um, back to the blend. But what you can do, if you're going to play a max 150, you can go down here and say, I love the looks of this. Give me 150 different variations, right, of just the blend. Or you can go across and say, you know, okay, you, got, you have seven player projection providers. I'm going to take 20 from each because they all look a little different, right? And I can go in there and I can say, okay, show me 20. 20 from each would give you 140, and then you can do what you want with the remaining 10 if you play a max 150. You can play a max 150 in DraftKings now, probably filled up by the time you watch the video. But I mean, I think they, 
got max 150 for a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, three dollars, and 15 dollars. And sometimes they throw out their dimes and pennies. Um, I'm not sure today on an early slate, but what happens? Hit 20. Show me. Show me something good. Show me, show me, show me. Working on 20. See how we do. Stock attack mode is on. I may have had to refresh because, oh, there it went. It threw a little CSV file up there. Right, so I can, there it is. You don't know what that is with a bunch of numbers, right? So as it's doing its thing here, let's see what happens. Normally it'll throw up that it's done, but I may have to refresh it. But I did have this DSP file. Let me see. I didn't do it, let me, uh, let me try it again. Could have been because sometimes when it passes through the update, right through the middle, I'll have to refresh this. So let me see. It looks like I'm going to have to. It's in. Oh, oh, I did it. There it is. So and, uh, I didn't have just pro settings. You can go max exposure down to whatever you want. Look at the mix it's given me, though. Two Atlanta, two Brewers. These are stacks. Three Houston, three Detroit, two Pirates. Three Cleveland, three Anaheim or LA Angels, two Nats, right? And then it's stacking, not just stacking those, and it's going to go out and find with availability and salary remaining your Akunas and Otanis of the world, which not a bad thing, right? So if you don't have a brave stack, it'll go try to throw Akuna into the mix or Albies, right? Or Otani. So good thing. What I was going to show you once you hit close, boom. Like I showed you the CSV, but I don't know what the numbers are. Now I do. This is what the file was. It could have been 10 D uh, loaded up into DraftKings. And here's the different combinations. Vito. I keep thinking of Lido Shuffle by Boss Skaggs when I see Vito, Lido. And G Gio Lido. Um, Kitchen combos, and again, there's some mix. McKenzie with Giolito, Rodriguez with Giolito, Blanco with By B. You get it, right? And so I didn't have to do what I used to have to do, or I have to do in some places. I didn't have to like stack individual teams and go back and forth. I mean, this happened in a matter of minutes. It's like crazy cool. Makes life a lot easier. Just like watch this video and you know, there are some spots remaining, or you could use it tonight now that you know what's available. Seven days, one dollar, mess around with it if you like what you see currently while in beta. Only $29.97 a month, all sports. Currently have baseball, we're about to wire in NFL football, we will have NBA, we will have some PGA. Now who knows, I've had requests for, I'm not a big MMA guy, I know a lot of people are. Um, NASCAR, not so much either. I know a lot of people are. Soccer, I know a lot of people are. It's just, there's a lot of sports out there. <laughs> cricket, you know, you carry cricket. Um, all I know about cricket is I've seen like people walk around in Southern California think they have a cricket club or something, but there are a lot of people that play cricket globally. Anyway, you kind of get it. Um, hopefully this was enlightening there's also a one-time lifetime while in beta lifetime of our company which i'm 64 years young so you figure out how much longer that'll be um 299 dollars 97 one time i mean and you're going to get access to the free content with a premier content site daily Articles, videos, no extra price. Um, I think it's got a lot of value. That's what we intended when first started this project. Almost, that was the end of last year. I thought about doing something I was really passionate about, having played 
since the late 90s with a group of guys using the USA Today as a way to score. Times have evolved. Um, we got some good things happening. There'll be a movie coming out, probably premiering February, the game within the history of fantasy sports, how one side of the world, rotisserie baseball, the other side, fantasy football, pigskin prognosticators, late 50s, early 60s, and then where it is today, where it's going with some web three stuff. I mean, the, between fantasy sports, multi billion dollars, every 2025 billion. Gambling with the three big states not even in the game yet, right? California, Texas, Florida, billions. I think I saw a stat almost 300 billion, 280 billion since 2018. People like to have fun. Lots of things happening. So I talked about it on yesterday's video. You want to go watch it? Some things like a really super hybrid. Uh, player rewards type situation. I believe players, without players, the platforms don't have anything. Without players and users, I don't have a business here at Fantasy Sports Logic. So, kind of a way of recognizing the importance of you, the player, and giving back in a way that, you know, not just giving back for what you do, but giving you back accumulatively what everybody does, the more you refer. The more you play, the more you engage in the content, that in whether it's the, the uh, website, right, Sportstopia, or the television network, or the shows that we're going to produce, or the movies, you get more like rewards uh, accumulatively. So stay tuned to that. It's going to happen probably as early as next week. There'll be a package that includes a lot of value for some of our. Uh, partners and I think it's not like anything you will have ever seen before so anyways thank you for listening feel free to reach out I know we've had a lot of people come in recently uh, love to connect with you while I can once we and we're projecting a lot of people in the month of August because we're finally ready I wasn't comfortable until the technology was moving at this speed now i am um so we're opening the gates to about limit it to a thousand in the first 30 days um maybe more it's more about being able to you know make sure everybody has a warm and fuzzy during that seven day test drive and and then when they upgrade allowing them to understand all the power right i mean i didn't get into the pro options i mean <laughs> crazy you can exclude teams. You can get men and maps on individual players and pictures. You can global maps exposure. But the way we program the stack attack mode, uh, you don't even have to do a lot of that anymore. I mean, you see the diversity, right? I'm all about diversity. I listened to an audio. It's a book called Dealing with Kings. Daniel Barbarisi, who referred to me by Peter Schenke, the founder of Rotowire and the board of directors, Fantasy Sports Gaming Association. And it's, it's, if you like fantasy sports, you'll love that. I listened to an audio. I got ADD. It's hard for me to read, uh, you know, at length of time because I'm always doing three or four things at once. you love it. But what they talked about used to be max 200. Um, 2017, I think you could play 200 lineups and draft kings and FanDuel or one or the other. Then they cut it back to 150, kind of changed the strategy um, more. You know, it's about getting coverage. My goal, I don't know if it's your goal, if I can just get one of my lineups to the top. These are so top weighted, these contests, right? That even in the dollar today, it's a thousand or fifteen hundred on top in the 150. But if I just get one of those one dollar entries up there happy right i did it in nba using the data before we were just crazy first place i played seven one dollar entries on the like i think in the on the winner's board but um i mean that makes you happy it's like two grand right gives you some more playing money i can't guarantee that'll happen this is for entertainment purposes only here's my disclaimer <laughs> because i've won or you may win 
the goal is to win not one, but a couple of Millie makers. Um, our customers, myself, to show that, hey, you know, I'm not just talking about it, I'm showing you. It doesn't guarantee anything for anybody else, but it shows that the data is here, the information is available. The more data you have, I will say that some of the top players in the world, most all of them have some form of a tool. There are some great ones that have been built over the years. My plan, now our plan, was to make that affordable to the masses. Uh, we have an affiliate program. I would definitely encourage you to um, go here, Transfer Sports Logic, go to the FSL affiliate. It's free to become an affiliate. And you can earn $100 for any lifetime $299.97 subscriber. And then this package that we're about to announce Monday with all sorts of other value, like free entries into tournament, um, tournaments that you won't have to pay to get in, all sorts of crazy cool things. I'll also have a hundred dollar referral to it. So there's a video there. I won't show it. Sign up. It's free. Why not? If you're going to be involved, why not tell people and get referral commissions and you'll also get more reward bonuses. Uh, I'll get into that. But anyways, thank you. I'm going to do what people love me to do because I've been rambling for so long. They're like, they'll get off. Get off, get off, get off. I got to go put my lineups in. Okay, I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you're having an amazingly awesome, super spectacular hump day. Good luck to you.